All right, my friends, we have another one, another new chapter of One Punch Man. This one is called Squared. I have no idea why. <laughs> um, squared away in combat. Uh, power going up geometrically. A square function. Unclear, but we'll see. Um, cover page showing... Garo in his super ascendant universe galactic state, all of the cosmos thrumming within him, the heartbeat of the powerful reverberates. In the last chapter, he finally was able to execute his plan of being the most terrifying terror ever known to man, um, making all of the heroes terrified, none of them believing they even have the slightest chance to fight against him. Sayatama has been knocked flying somewhere with the power of a nuclear blast. Um, it's not really clear exactly where the series can go from here. Uh, clearly, Sayatama and Garo are going to have some sort of showdown. Perhaps Blast's crew of interdimensional peacekeepers, maybe, are going to get involved. Um, the godlike entity who has been really messing with everything in all sorts of different ways is probably going to have an even more significant role. And then, what? <laughs> what could possibly follow after that? Are we really going to return to, oh no, Metal Knight is plotting against us. Oh, there's a rival hero association. It's very strange. It's very strange. Everything's been thrown out of whack. All right. Uh... Oh gosh, I, I screwed up. What did I do? I, I somehow, I jumped like a ton of pages ahead. Uh, oh, oh gosh. Then I buffered a whole bunch of backspaces. Hold, hold on. <laughs> I saw some stuff, but I didn't process it. So, you know, hopefully, hopefully nobody goes. Okay, okay, okay. First off, thanks to Vibhav and the team, as always, getting these chapters out really fast. Um... If you have recruiting, I highly recommend helping them out. They do a lot of work for this community. If you can, if you have the skills and the time. Oh boy. The kids are just dropping like stones. Child Emperor flops over. Their nose is bleeding. It's kind of great. Like what? What is this? Just the raw pressure of Garo's power? some Conqueror's Hockey. Um, Child Emperor's little uh, Higo fell off too. It's like he has cancer or something. Oh, it's the, it's a, is it the radiation from his attacks? Because he's actually using like nuclear weapons as his attacks now? Is that what's going on? They're getting radiation sickness? Hmm. Inside of Garo, I can sense something evil that is not Garo. I thought you were being controlled after all. So he, I don't know, he like tried to reject the power, but just by touching God, he still received the power. It's pretty, pretty skeevy loophole there by the Almighty. <laughs> um, but this is sort of interesting too, because, you know, the, the conflict originally wasn't just Sayatama versus Garo, who's stronger. Obviously it's Sayatama, um, but an, an ideological conflict. Something inside of Garo fighting with itself. His ideals versus his fears versus his trauma. And now it's like, how is that supposed to play out if he's just the puppet of this mysterious god figure? I don't know. Give back Garo. Silver Fang. Not standing down. Our boy Bang. Dripping blood. Shivering with anticipation. Told you this is of my own free will. Oh, all right. Here he is. <laughs> no, no, no real build up to this one. I guess that's how warping works. He's just here. I'm blessed. We'll get into the gritty details later. You're being controlled by God. Couldn't tell by the nature of the divine power you were given. Any attack you unleash while on this planet could endanger the very existence of all living things. Does that line up with your what your actual goals are? Okay, okay. So it's like they can still maybe get through to Garo a little bit and convince him that this actually doesn't advance at all. His schemes, his anything. 
I suppose? I like this, too, that he's, you know, it's not just, oh, you're evil. Oh, you're fighting the wrong people. But you're literally going to just annihilate all life because your punches are nukes now. <laughs> I suppose we saw this with Homeless Emperor, too, that all of his attacks, like, just tore up the environment. Um, and, and that did kind of go against the stated goals because he wanted, you know, society to crumble. He wanted everything to return to nature, animal land. Um, but uh, instead, if Homo Semper was allowed to rampage, there'd just be nothing. <laughs> um, so this god fellow, not, not too, uh, you know, supportive of what uh, people actually want to do. Look at this chatterbox showing up out of nowhere. If that's true, what are you saying I should do about it? I'm going to allow this situation for the time being. Let me lead you to another dimension. Take a look. Yeah, yeah. People are just flopping down. They will all die just from you being here. Hmm. What did Ben and like if you'd be allowed to something to be fully imparted? Even even Bang is a little freaked out here. But it's like hard to read. You know, how omnipotent is Bang really? We already know that the hero rankings aren't an end all be all. They may not, you know, exactly reflect somebody's power level. Um, so the fact that he's number one. It says a lot, but it doesn't say everything. And furthermore, you know, there's that whole stipulation they talked about. Oh, Bang only really wants to fight if he can fully be safe to just unleash everything he has and not, you know, accidentally kill a whole bunch of people. Um, and there was the thing, you know, he fought Senior Centipede to a standstill, something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Like, it seems more and more that Bang's real power lies in his knowledge and his connections. And the usefulness of his specific powers, you know, warping and accessing other dimensions and stuff like that. It doesn't necessarily mean that he's like the strongestestestest ever, right? So maybe he's actually a little freaked out. Like, if I fought this guy right now, would I win? He might not even know. I hope he'll listen to reason and come along with me. But if not, I hope for supremacy between two beings who manipulate the reality of the cosmos to decide who is right and who is wrong. Hmm. Just being around me means death. Finally getting to be the symbol of fear. Dang, Garo. Like, it's like his humanity is still there somewhat. Like, it's still his same personality. But this isn't the reaction he would normally have. His normal reaction, I think he would be a little freaked out <laughs> by just emanating death. Looking forward to see exactly how the human race will change in the constant fear of the absolute evil that is me. I am that miserable future. Disaster level God. He self-proclaims it. The manga hasn't called him that yet. In narration bubbles. But, you know, when you look at the, the definitions, I'm pretty sure God is, it threatens the existence of the entire human race, right? Dragon is like, threatens the existence of a city. Demon is like threatens, or dragon, I guess, is multiple cities. Drag, demon is like one city, and then tiger and wolf and stuff are like less than that. So I think technically he should be God, right? He, he does have the potential to just wipe out all life on Earth. If you're going, you'll have to kill me first. So many people doesn't need anyone to understand it. Others will be miserable just by being around it. Finish off the old man right here. I've never seen Tario again either. That's how it needs to be. For his sake as well. For his sake? Really? Aren't you concerned that he's just gonna die? <laughs> I mean, right now, he's what? Getting helicoptered out of there? Or he had been helicoptered out and the helicopter is in some safe spot now? I don't remember. But it's, it seems very likely that he'll just incidentally die. I don't know if it's for his sake. Also, this bottom panel, there's two little galaxies in Garo's face, and it kind of looks like he's doing like a wink, like a cute winky face. <laughs> Am I crazy? <laughs> I want to just put like a little smile underneath him. <laughs> oh, monster friend going. There he is. I see. I knew it. He's just going to incidentally die. Oh, shit. It's Genos. <laughs> Uh, all right, Gino's missing all limbs and lower body, still rockets himself into a headbutt. But the 
Only hero resistant to radiation. Yeah, but you don't have any limbs. <laughs> you don't, you can't, what are you gonna do? High level to have an S class hero like you as an apprentice. That makes sense. I like that Garo has actually finally put together how strong Saitama is. I, I really do love that moment a few chapters ago where he suddenly, he puts together all the times he's seen Saitama and he's like, oh, snap. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I, I find I'm always talking about melee when I talk about this series, but it's like when, you, when you're trying to seed a bracket, and I've had to do this before, it's, it's kind of stressful, you know, like people are going to be mad if you're under seeding them or whatever. And then you just realize you completely forgot about someone. And, and like, suddenly all these other bracket images and PR images flash in your head and you're like, no, yeah, I've seen that name like 20 times. Oops. And then the bracket is like fucked <laughs> because you have one absolute monster tearing things through. It's funny. It, it, it had the same sensation of, of Garo being like, Oh, dang. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> okay, we see an attack from Blast. We've never really seen this before. He slams his fists together, makes an infinity, shoots a dimension cannon. So before he was like, let me take you to another dimension. I think, you know, so you can be, uh, you don't have to hurt anybody here, right? He thought that might appeal to Garo. Now he can fire off that same kind of space, I guess, as an attack. Okay, sure. Forest transfer. Is it, what a lame attack. Oh, you got tricked. He, he set up multiple portals. I think that's what's going on here, right? Garo jumps over this blast. Jumps into this warp portal. The warp portal warps him over to where Blast is. And then Blast is going to punch him. That's pretty cool. Gravity knuckle. Alright, sure. We're just actually seeing blast fighting. Crazy, crazy. This is a pretty monumental occasion, right? Uh, I guess not as monumental as when we first actually saw him, but... Even then, it's like in Sh Battle Shonen series, do you really know someone until you see them throw that punch? <laughs> um, and this is the number one ranked hero that's been alluded to since chapter, like, 20 or something, probably even earlier than that, whenever they have the General Assembly of S-Class Heroes about the prophecy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it really gave Garo a real rattle. Oh my goodness. Okay, so he's thinking with portals. Garo flies into this one, flies out the other one, and then what's waiting for him is yet another punch. He can just loop this. If there's no energy lost from the portaling, and he's able to keep imparting energy into Garo. He can just get him into a, a weird infinite. Makes me wonder what a fighting game with portals would be like. <laughs> I think that, that would be kind of neat. Yeah, see, look, it's literally what I'm describing. He's just looping Garo and punching him each time. <laughs> this is cool, this is cool. I like that he fights very uniquely in a way that isn't just like, oh, but it's so much stronger than anything we've seen before. We don't really know how to judge the scale of his actual individual attacks, but it's like, what makes him strong is this portaling power. And when you really think about it, the portaling power is like insane god tier strong, right? <laughs> uh, huh. Did that do it? No. So he gets him in that little infinite loop, slams the portals together. In Portal, you can't do things like this, so they don't have to think about what would happen. And here it looks like he just winks Garo out into a, another d dimension, maybe? But it's like, this portal just leads to this portal. So there's no space that these I, neither portals both lead to not. <laughs> um, but no, it's not going to work. Garo confidently <laughs> emerges... See how it is. Oh boy, okay, they start flying fists at each other. And no, 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 I'm sorry. This is Garo just immediately imitating Blast's attacks. Now he's able to use the gravity knuckle. He's able to get these little weird plasma universe balls. 
combining that with his other fist firing off the nuclear fission. Uh, yeah, I think Blast is losing this one. Uh, yeah, he's, he's doing his best. He's portaling them all back inside. Trying to divert the force. Portal judo. Hmm. Huge nuclear bombs going off in the atmosphere. Blast, I guess, redirecting the energy up there. This is a very cool panel. I love this positioning. I love how strong it makes Garo attack look. Yeah, this is cool. This is good. This is good. All of that energy being warped into nothing, into a TV turning off. Some pocket dimension that Blast can effortlessly excise from existence, I guess. I'm not sure. The gates are bursting from the overload of energy. If this goes on much longer, this will become a dead planet. Transferring everyone else out comes first. <sighs> You're not even worth my attention. I think on some level Garo must know that Sayatama is still alive. We don't know where he is. He might not know where he is. He probably... Like, Sayatama can still get knocked around, you know? He probably got sent flying. And now is sprinting back really fast. <laughs> he still wasn't giving it all. If I can copy him and find his full power, I can win. Oh, here we go. Garo becoming full evil, using all of the villain's tropes and tactics, such as I'm going to kill your friend if you don't make yourself uh, present. A classic, a classic. Oh, snap. Wow. This seems significant. Genos got hit through the core. He's had all of his limbs blown off more times than we can count. We've had acid dissolving him in all sorts of manners. But have we ever seen this sort of damage to him? Just his insides blown out. And then the totally black page after? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I skipped ahead. I see what's going on. I'm trying to press go to previous page. But if you go to the far left, it shows you, like, the index of pages, and then it's very easy to click one of those pages. I don't think that's good design, <laughs> because it's very subtle the way it pops up. Like, you can't see. Here I'm pressing back. Here I'm pressing page. I'm, like, moving my mouse a millimeter. Anyways, this is my own fault. I didn't spoil much. I just, I just, you know, it's what I expected. But yeah, this totally black page is very, very, very ominous. I thought the chapter was just over, you know, but no. Rain starts falling. This could be fallout rain as well. When you have that many nukes going off, it creates uh, extremely irritated rain. Yeah, here he is. His cape's all torn up. Even his suit is torn up. He's not happy. He's really not happy. This is an expression unlike we've ever seen. Maybe when he loses at video games. Is this a rain of blood? I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's what it looks like. And at this point, whether or not it's something makes sense is the least of our concerns. Aren't you a bit late? Yeah, there's Genos's core. This is bad news. Like, I, it doesn't necessarily mean he's dead dead, right? Like, we don't know the limits of Dr. Kuseno's powers to be able to reattach something like this. Like, conceivably, Genos is still in there or something. But this is pretty unprecedented. I usually arrive too late. 
Wow. So it feels like we're setting up some pretty major emotional climaxes here. Some kind of inner development and revelation that makes you rethink what it means to be a hero. Which is, of course, you know, the, the overall thrust and climax of the Monster Association arc in the original. Except that now, is it going to be that Saitama, for the first time in the entire series, learns such a lesson? Is it going to be that Saitama realizes that his, I'm a hero for fun, you know, I got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I hear something, but I gotta go to the sale first. I don't know, I don't know if I like that, if that's where this is going. I don't know. I really don't know. This is heading into emotional territory that's pretty new for the series. Yeah. Do I really have a hero's intuition? Sure doesn't seem like it. And here it's like, we're almost being encouraged to contrast Saitama and Garo in a way that favors Garo. That Garo's hero's intuition was saving people, incidentally, on the opposite side of the planet. That Garo, in fact, is always exactly right on time to save someone. Of course, right now, we get a lovely treat of everybody dying from radiation sickness. Pretty brutal. Um, and, of course, entirely Garo's fault. <laughs> or God's fault, I guess. Um... I don't know. I don't know. Do I really have a hero's intuition? Sure doesn't seem like it. God, he's so pissed off. I've never seen him this pissed off. This this is crazy. This is like a whole new emotional zone for the series. Killer move. Serious series. Serious punch. Okay. This, this has to be the strongest attack he's ever unleashed in this entire series. Because up until this point, he, he kind of wanted to keep fighting. He kind of didn't want to win so easily, right? Whenever he's done the serious punch before, it's kind of like, Oh, maybe, maybe you can handle this. Ba pow And then they just get, like, vaporized. And he's like, no. This one seems like it's the first one with, like, real killing intent. That he's actually this pissed off. This is so wild. This this just it's just so out of character in a lot of ways. It's not out of character in so far as like oh I never thought he would act like this given the circumstances, but more that we've just never seen these circumstances this dire before, and so we've never seen him have to to get into this mood, and it's like really shocking and alien. Okay, Garo responds by adopting Saitama's style. You can see traces of Saitama's face covering his face. But is it really going to be enough? Saitama comes in. It's like a yin and yang thing here, you know? Garo, a being of total cosmic darkness, has adopted Saitama's face. And Saitama, usually drawn very flat, very bright, very primary colors, now has this blackness spreading over his visage. This is wild. There's really a lot of themes now, seeing this inversion. Who is the hero? Who has the makings of a hero? Is Saitama really, in his own <laughs> OP way, a failure? Is he, is he losing something by doing this? Is he sinking to some level? I don't know. It's like not necessarily that there's coherent answers to these questions or even a coherent question that's being asked, but these visuals and these emotional moods are encouraging us to like question these things, you know? This energy, this is bad. The earth will be shattered. Okay, all right, okay, I see. You didn't know 164 got redrawn. That's the one that we re we read the redraw here. I'm guessing this is Viva because Viva has been reading One Piece. <laughs> I'm getting all caught up on it. Uh, a little parallel between Garo and Blackbeard. True, very true. <laughs> the yummy yummy fruit and the, the gura gura fruit. Kind of like the nuclear punch and the gravity punch. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, all right. Um, wilds. Crazy, 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 crazy. Let's see where this goes from here. I, I, I feel like they gotta have like an emotional climax along with the battle climax. And at first I was like, okay, the battle climax is gonna be crazy because everything is just thrown off out of scale and everybody's involved now. Um, besides Watchdog Man. Um, but the emotional climax, I'm not really sure what it's gonna be. And now it's kind of like, okay, well here's our, our battle climax. I, I don't think much can happen after this. But the emotional climax, whatever hints we've been given out of it, are, is so... Just, I don't know. Okay. Uh, all we can do is wait and see. But let me know what you think. What, what's going to happen here? What's the message? What's the moral? Is Saitama going to realize something? Is he going to be like, I'm going to take heroing more seriously or something? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Goodbye.